This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kiffin Lovates here, and uh, Vince Lucy asked me a question, and the question was, which of the following two creates or emits more carbon? Uh, the options are A, Bitcoin mining, or B, all the talk by institutions about the DLT projects that they're going to launch, but that never actually see the light of day. So, I think the answer here is that human beings don't sequester carbon personally, but personally they don't increase uh, carbon uh, emissions in and of themselves. It's only when they go out and retrieve fossil fuels and uh, burn them that they do that. So people talking is not going to increase the uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in any significant manner. Um, however, people driving around in cars talking about stuff is. So then the question really is, are these DLT project managers who are talking and talking and talking and not doing anything actually doing so on their mobile phones in their cars uh, while they are doing it? If they are doing it from the comfort of their own home, then the talk is not going to have an effect on the environment. Um, however, if they are engaged in other pursuits that do burn fossil fuels, then they will be increasing the um, carbon emissions, provided the activity of talking about distributed ledgers actually requires them for some reason to also be driving in their cars or flying in airplanes to conferences in order to do so. Um, putting exact figures on this is of course very very difficult but then again it's hard to put figures on the carbon emissions of Bitcoin mining as well. Uh, there are there's the that institute in Cambridge that spends a lot of time researching this to try and come up with accurate figures. And then finally there's just the fact that uh, People do stuff, and uh, a lot of it, when you look at it objectively, has no sense whatsoever. You know, making art doesn't make rational sense, but it makes human sense. And uh, trying to build a new financial system that doesn't rely on central authorities, well, I think that maybe makes more rational sense. I'm not surprised that we've hit some hiccups along the way, because whenever you try to build new systems, um, you hit obstacles and you also find out that there were unintended consequences to what you were doing with your project. So uh, the fact is that if Bitcoin miners weren't mining for Bitcoin, the people who are running them and uh, burning resources would probably be doing something else, um, maybe not equally resource intensive, but I imagine somewhere close to it. So uh, ultimately it's the human condition. We, we burn fuels and we uh, increase carbon emissions and we are apparently changing the climate. Um, however, on the positive side, we've become aware of it and uh, hopefully we'll take combined action in order to do something about it. Um, however, I do think that solving climate change is probably going to be a lot, lot simpler than changing the way that there are thousands of uh, project managers out there driving around talking on their mobile phones about projects so that their company is going to launch that never see the light of day. So uh, there's my answer, Vince Lucy. I hope you found it informative and I'll see the rest of you in the next video soon. Bye for now.